Sea Perch is an underwater robotics program that allows students and teachers to build remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs as they're called, with easily accessible parts. Sea Perch also builds on STEM or science, technology, engineering, and mathematics principles while the students build their ROVs. Today we have eight schools participating in the Cayman Islands Sea Perch Challenge 2016, where they'll take part in two in-pool technical events, uh, one obstacle course and one sprint challenge, where they'll race to put as many items as they can in the bucket. The winner gets the opportunity to go and compete at the Louisiana State University um, in Baton Rouge in May 2016, um, where they'll be competing against 150 teams. Um, so Sea Perch allows the students with a hands-on opportunity to build and work on these principles. Um, I feel like teaching these students is one thing, but getting them involved and actually building these things actually helps them to understand what's going on and helps them to remember it. Um, and it's wonderful because Cayman has such a strong seafaring history, so in order to get these students in the water and thinking about practical issues that they need to think about, um, get them thinking about marine engineering and naval engineering and any, any kind of engineering principles and technology is awesome. Uh, sea Push came to the Cayman Islands as a part of the Cayman Maritime Initiative. It really is an initiative to try to reconnect the youth of today with Cayman seafaring history. We were trying to find a means to introduce it to the schools, introduce concepts of engineering and naval architecture to, the, to kids. We heard about this program through Bruce Rosenblatt, who is the president of the Royal Institution of Naval Architects, and through his connections with Nikki Papadakis, who is very well known in the shipping community internationally and here in Cayman, they used their contacts in the industry to bring Sea Pooch here to Cayman. What we then did is we approached Maples and Calder to, to really help us to put this on because it takes resources and because of their commitment to the community and to furthering the betterment of education and opportunities for kids in the community, Maples and Calder jumped at the opportunity to be on board and to, to help us to promote this. Um, well, it's definitely taught me how to use some tools and how to like build something proper. The most fun part is probably testing the robot in my swimming pool, like, for the first time. The experience is amazing because you get the thrill of racing and competing against people and the thrill of building the, um, the sea perch or ROV with your teammates. It benefit us by helping us with um, our electrical things so we learn how to solder and stuff, the, um, make the drill for the um and we drilled in the arm for that and then made we we made the thing by this ROV by ourselves so that it's more we tested the buoyancy and stuff on it so that it could float easier. Most fun thing is actually racing it and competing and working together with and competing against the other teams. The brilliant part about the Sea Perch program is that as teachers we were given the opportunity to actually have some professional development in how to build and operate the Sea Perches ourselves. So we actually had the opportunity to do what the students would do and learn about how it all fitted together. We learned how to solder, we learned how to like saw things properly, uh, we learned about all the things that could go wrong and then we could share that kind of journey with our students. Um, because the students learned so much as well, but actually we were kind of learning together because often they'd come up with a problem and we were like, oh, I don't know, let's just see if we can like figure it out together. So yeah, we learned so much both about the process, but also kind of about each other and about how uh, the students are so creative. So I learned a lot about the students. I think that our students, the ones that were involved, have obviously learned huge amounts about the, the physics involved um, and they've learned about electronics, which they don't normally have the opportunity to do in their normal science class um, lessons and we've sort of been talking about this to other students within the school and that they're now they can see like how they might want to get involved themselves um, or they've been asking questions about it so even though it's not been a formal part of our lessons um, we've been able to inspire students to get into robotics and this kind of style of competition. I've really been impressed with what I see here in terms of this competition um, certainly it is uh, you know teaching all of the participants, the robotic skills, which is really uh, 
to me an area that um, that is, is continues to develop and evolve worldwide that there's a lot of potential for for young people to get involved in as a career in building and design work and uh, you know this is something I see that just serves to 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 generate and stimulate that desire and, and yearning to get involved in something like this. So I think I, I find it extremely positive. I look at them, I've talked with a number of the kids here and, um, and young, young men and women, and I'm just impressed with the enthusiasm with which they have approached it. And the fact that it is a competition now and the winning team gets to go, I understand, gets to go to the States to, to compete is just really the icing on the cake, but really impressed with what I see here this morning. The aim of CPARCH is to promote STEM skills development. These are the areas of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. The program looks at all of these areas together, not only to develop the skills and knowledge in each discipline necessary for student success, but um, because these areas are so intertwined in the real world, this will help students later on um, with success in life.